Hey everybody, I'm going to be dyeing some yarn for a cowl that I'm going to knit. And what you're looking at right now is the yarn soaking in some cool water with a little bit of uh, plain white vinegar. And I didn't measure or anything, I just filled the sink up maybe a couple of inches and just poured a few tablespoons of the vinegar and I'm going to be letting it soak for about maybe 20 minutes or so. And this is the yarn that I'm using. It's from Lion Brand. It's called Alpine Wool. And this is 100% uh, wool. It is uh, a roving yarn. And um, the coloring that I'm going to be using is the neon... McCormick food coloring. So once my yarn has finished soaking, I will show you how I'm going to be dyeing it. Okay, so I have my food color here in my pot on the stove, and I'm just stirring it up a little bit. So this color that I'm going for is called Stormy Blue, and it's a mix of blue, purple, and green food color. So once I made sure that all the color is mixed up, I'm going to go ahead and get my yarn in here. So I just have the yarn wrapped around my hand here so I could squeeze out all of the excess water before I go ahead and put this into the color. Okay, I have, um, I don't know if I told you or not, but I have my yarn tied off in sections and I have just the first section of my yarn in the food coloring now and I have the rest of it wrapped around a wooden spoon that's resting across the top of my pot. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on uh, the heat now. This is filled with cold water by the way. So I'm going to uh, start heating this up so the yarn can start to absorb the dye. Okay, so this is starting to heat up now and I'm going to um, put some more of my yarn in here I'm going to unroll this from my wooden spoon until I reach the next spot where I tied off on my yarn. Okay, I have the yarn dunked into the dye down to the next spot that I have tied off. I'm going to let this sit in here for maybe about 10-15 minutes or so, and then I'm going to unwind some more yarn and dunk it into the dye. And this is still uh, heating. I'm going to let it go until it starts to boil and then I'm going to turn it down just to a simmer. Okay, so this is <clears throat> boiling now and I've turned the flame down so that it's just going to simmer and I'm going to unroll some more of my yarn uh, to, until I get to the next part that I have tied okay, off. Okay, so I have uh, more yarn into my dye here and I'm just going to push gently down with my spoon to make sure that it's all covered. And then I'm going to uh, put a lid on this and let it set for another 10-15 minutes or so and then I will put the uh, rest of the yarn into my pot here. Okay, so I'm ready to put the rest of my yarn sorry about that, put the rest of my yarn in here. I'm just going to unroll it from my spoon. Okay, so once again, just gently going to push the yarn down. You can see that a lot of the color has been taken in by the yarn. This is a lot lighter than it was when I started. So I'm just going to make sure that my yarn is all covered. And you can actually see the difference in colors here in the yarn. Well, I can see it really well. I don't know how well you can see on the camera. But I have like a really, really dark, dark purple. And then kind of uh, maybe turquoise or aqua and now this is like a seafoam green. It's going to absorb some more of the color though so it's going to change a little bit. Alright so I'm going to put my lid back on here and I'm going to let this go for another 10-15 minutes or so and then I'm going to just turn this off and let it set until it is cool enough for me to handle. Yarn is cool enough for me to handle now, so I am just going to put it back in my sink here and I'm going to rinse it off to make sure that all of the extra color is off and then I will be ready to 
hang this up so that it can dry. So my yarn has been rinsed and it is now hanging on the rack drying. And as soon as it's done drying, I will uh, wrap it up into a lovely hank.